Hello friends, this is Akshay and you're watching Devotional Studies. Today on Devotional Study, we are going to build a, a web application where I'm going to demonstrate how a CRUD operation can be performed using a Firebase real-time database without reloading the page. Without even refreshing the page, it will be a real-time application, what I'm going to show you, right? So let me quickly show you the application's look. So this is the form, what we have, where I have a you know table, what my uh, idea was to manage the employee's data, right? I am adding them uh, in the database using this table uh, where I am going to show, you know, uh, I'm going to add a few basic details like name, email address, uh, uh, you know, phone number. So as soon as I click on the add button, the data will be stored in the database and it will be displayed back to the form in the real time, right? So let's quickly add a few uh, details here. So I will add the information and one more thing, there is no validation uh, I have added or, you know, uh, you know, it's not yet completed. So I'm, because I'm not going to cover the validation part here, I'm just covering the CRUD operation, right? And if you guys don't know what is the CRUD operation, CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete. Where in this, using this form, I am creating the data, reading the data, updating the data, and deleting the data, right? So let's let's uh, quickly add few information here so then I can show you how this application works. Uh, let me demonstrate to you. So as soon as I click the add button, the page didn't, you know, it, it didn't get refreshed and uh, the value, the tables, uh, data, uh, it's, it got appended, right? And at the same time, you can see the data, database, uh, there is a table called employee I have created where I'm adding that particular value, I'm storing the value here in the database. You can see I have created a you know unique ID here and whatever data I was adding in the form, it is available in the table. So let's add uh, two or three more fields. So as you can see, I've added uh, three fields here so far. So now, suppose if I want to uh, update some of the fields, uh, so I can click on the pencil icon here, uh, and the, this form is totally dynamic, right? So I can click on the pencil icon, and you can see all the values are getting fetched from the database to this field, to, to this form, right? If I go ahead and update the form, right? Uh, so suppose if I'm giving a last name here because I forgot to add the last name, for, for example, uh, so let me add the last name here, Mike, Michelle, or let's, let's add Michael, right? So as soon as I click the save button, you can see the name has got updated without even reloading the page, the data is, you know, available and uh, the data is appended on the form. And at the same time, let me show you the database, uh, the value is even updated in the form. Right now, if I'm not happy with this field, so let me delete that one. Right, so there's this only specific field, so I'll delete this one. Uh, you can see this is uh, giving me the name of the uh, the person uh, or the, the user's name. So I'll click on delete. You can see the data is not available in the form, and if I go back to the database, the data is gone. It's totally gone, right? Because it's 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 I have deleted the data from the form. So this is how the, uh, the complete application works. Suppose, for example, the last step is if I don't want any data here in the form, I want to delete all the data using one click. I cannot go with each and every field because suppose if there are 5,000 fields, I cannot do that. So if, if I don't want all the data from the form, I can simply click on this button and you can see uh, I have the option to delete, delete all the data. Once I do that, you know, the, the page data has been gone and it will be deleted from the table as well at the same time. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to uh, demonstrate and code this application from scratch till the end, right? So uh, the next part would be about this only. How can we add the data? And I'm not going to cover the UI part, only the backend part I'm going to cover in this complete tutorial. If you want 
uh, the, the code, please do let me know in the comment box. I will surely share the code with you guys and uh, at the same time I can you know ask you guys to code along with me. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.